Welcome to part three of how to be a video content creator. By this point, you'll already have planned out your video, you'll have filmed all of your content, and now it's time to edit. So let's get started. I'm using a free version of a video editing app, and there are lots of different ones available. You can find out more information on these in the link below this video or within the resource pack itself. Start by uploading your video. Just tap here and select the video that you want to upload, then tap the tick. You'll now see something that looks a bit like this, depending on which app you're using. We've got the video at the top and then a smaller version of it running along the bottom and above that, a set of icons which we can use to edit. Let's get started. If I tap the play button here, my video will start to play. I can see that I've got some footage of me fiddling with the camera at the start, which I don't want to show. One of my favorite things about living in Wales. So let's crop this section. I just tap on this video at the bottom. And once it's highlighted like this, it means I can edit it. From this tab on the end, I can drag along to where I want the video to start. So I can get rid of all this messy bit at the beginning. I can do the same at the other end too, so that I can't be seen stopping the camera. And when I press play, it should have a clear beginning. One of my favourite things about living in Wales is the brilliant rivers. Okay, on to the next bit that I want to crop. I've got a slow pan around here of the castle but I'd like it in two sections. So using that mini video at the bottom, I'm going to get the white line where I'd like it cropped and then tap the split button. This splits it into two different videos, one here and one here. Now if I tap and hold, I can move this part to anywhere that I want in the main video. Let's slide it this way a bit and drop it in there. The next thing to edit is my transitions. Remember I filmed this one earlier. Let's get down to the beach. Not very smooth, there's a big gap in the middle. So let's get rid of the part of the video that I don't want to make a really good quick transition. So I'll tap the split button and you can see that that's divided it into two separate little videos. And then I can get rid of the one I don't want by pressing delete. Let's take a look. It's better, but in the second video, I'm further away from the camera. No problem. I can use two fingers to drag this main video closer in. And let's take another look. Let's get down to the beach. Yep, much better. Part of my footage here has a lot of background noise that I want to remove. This is really easy to do because most editing apps allow you to extract the audio and delete it. So I just highlight the section that I want to remove the audio of. Then I tap the volume button and it will bring up this display. Here's the button to extract the audio and you can see it here in a separate box. I can then highlight that and delete it. I could at this point add some music or sound effects. Let's add some music. Every app will look slightly different, but you should have a few choices that are free to use. Let's try this one. Here's my music track in place. Let's press play. It's a bit chilly down there. Okay, so I need the music to stop here when I start talking. So in the same way we did earlier when we edited the footage, we're going to edit the music track. Just select it and then tap the split button, delete the part you don't want. Let's check how this sounds now. It's a bit chilly down here at the beach, so it's time to... It's okay, but it stops quite abruptly. So I'm going to add a fade. Highlight that music again, then tap volume. Then I can use these two sliders at the bottom to fade in and fade the music out again. Right, let's see what it sounds like now. It's a bit chilly down here at the beach, so it's time to head into town to warm up with a hot chocolate. Yep, this makes it sound much better. I've got some footage of a hot chocolate at the end of my video and I'd quite like to add a sound effect here. So I'm going to tap the music icon and then effects. 
Remember, the app you're using might look a bit different and you might be able to search for specific sound effects. There's a few different ones to choose from here. I'm going to choose this one. OK, so it's appeared in my editing bar at the bottom, but it's in the wrong place. So I can just hold it down and drag it to where I'd like it to appear. Let's press play to check. Go inside. Yep, I'm really pleased with that. In this part of my video, I'd like to add a voiceover. So I'll start by tapping the music icon and then I need to press record. It will give you a three second countdown to get ready to start your voiceover, record what you want to say and then just press the tick at the end. I've recorded mine, so let's go back and have a listen to check it. Did you know this part of Wales is famous for making coracle boats? OK, I'm happy with that, but if it hasn't gone to plan, you can just highlight that voiceover and delete it and try again. I'd like some text to appear on screen in this part of my video. Welcome to the beach. So I'm going to tap the text icon, which is this one here, and then I'll be able to type what I'd like to appear on the screen. There's then the option to select a different colour and you can have a play around with different colours and there's even a few extra effects and borders along the bottom there. I'm going for this dark blue. If I tap here, I can explore lots of different fonts. Let's have a look through some. Pick one that you think matches the style of your video. Let's go with this one. We've also got the option to animate our text. And there's a few basic ones that are free to use. Select one you like and then use the slider at the top to speed it up or slow it down. Once we've made our choices, we can then drag that text box and make it bigger or smaller. Let's press play and see what it looks like. Welcome to the beach. Let's use the editing tools to add some transitions between the different sections of my video. Tap this dash between the videos and this will bring up a few different transitions. Let's pick this circle one. Let's press play to see what it looks like. Welcome to the beach. We can also add some stickers, GIFs and other fun effects. Tap the smiley face here and we can search for a sticker or a GIF that's going to match our theme. I'm going to search beach. Let's choose this one and it will appear on the main screen and I can drag it to where I'd like it to be and make it bigger or smaller. I've finished editing, it's nearly time to upload my video. When you upload it, you might be asked to add a thumbnail. Just like a book has a front cover, the thumbnail gives the title and maybe an idea of what the video is about. Here's a quick look at how I created the thumbnail for my video. I'm using a photo and video editing app and you can find some suggestions for these in the blog attached to the resource. I've used a still image from my video and I've made the title nice and big so that people know what to expect when they click to watch my video. And here's the finished thumbnail ready to attach when I upload my video. That's it, my video is finished. I'm really pleased with the final result and it's all ready now to be uploaded onto a video sharing site or social media for all my friends and family to see it. Good luck making your videos and have fun.